The Santa Fe River then and now would be quite the before and after picture. Just last month, TV20 reported from areas in the middle of the river that were little more than puddles. Today, the story's a little different. The river was very low, well now it's maxed out. Uh, High Springs residents like Henry Mogler have watched the water levels of the Santa Fe increase dramatically in a matter of days, completely changing landscapes they were once familiar with. Because the water level has been rising on an average about three inches per hour. Um, so if you do the math, it was bound to come in the house. Homeowners here along the Santa Fe River in High Springs have been hoping for increased rain levels for a while. But now, after this past weekend, not only is the Santa Fe River knocking on their front doors, it's breaking and entering. Now that the Santa Fe has made a home in his yard, Mogler can only access the property with a canoe. The access road to the house is quickly going under as well. Just upstream in Fort White, the Santa Fe River is expected to reach approximately 11 feet above flood level this weekend. 32 miles of the Santa Fe River have been declared a no-wake zone and will remain so until flood waters recede. Mogler's flooding problem not only affects him, but his pockets as well. well. It's unfortunate because we, first of all, we're hurting people who had rented the property for vacations and had planned months in advance. All day, people have stopped to watch the Santa Fe River, and some say the recent surge affects everyone differently. Fort White resident Neil Wingfield says with traffic being a problem already, he's worried about his commute. You, that it's going to go over the, the bridge and we're not going to be able to drive, you know, drive across here. We're going to have to make a long trip around to make it to Gainesville. A sudden change for a river that's been low for a while. So low that you could, up by 441, the bridge at 441, you could walk across. Some are making the most of the opportunity the river is presenting, while others, like Mogler, are watching and waiting to rebuild. It will definitely be back and open uh, and bigger and better than it was before. Um, it, it'll, in some aspects, it's uh, a good cleansing. Just northwest of High Springs in Fort White, the Santa Fe River is expected to crest on Sunday at about 33 feet. Chris Gilmore, TV20 News.